starting in 5 seconds i am grateful to the board of governors directors and members of the staff of this institute of technology for having invited me to perform the opening ceremony of the building of the institute this evening being a teacher myself it is always an encouraging and stimulating experience for me to meet young men and women students and teachers who are engaged in the exciting pursuit of knowledge and discovery it makes me feel happier and younger i shall always carry with me the fragrant memory of the pleasant time i have spent in your midst this evening i have been impressed by the considerable thought and hard work that has gone into the design and construction of this building which i have had the pleasure to inaugurate it had beauty without pomp and show and is eminently functional it is designed to meet all the present requirements of the institute and also to provide for further expansion without upsetting the general pattern its cost has been kept significantly low and the speed and efficiency with which it has been constructed deserve admiration i was also happy to learn that most of the execution has been done departmentally without any contractors in the present position of our resources we cannot spend heavily on buildings much less on metalmen's profit or ornamental features which have little educational significance i therefore welcome the emphasis laid in the planning and construction of this building on functional utility simplicity and economy i wish we could carry this emphasis still further in all our future constructions the development of modern industry has been one of our significant achievements in the post independence period we have started several new industries and expanded older ones and this has enabled us to reduce imports to meet increased internal demands and to promote exports in certain sectors in this as well as in building up of the defense potential our programs for the development of technical education have made a significant contribution in spite of the heavy weather into which these plants have recently run owing to a period of recession through which we are passing i regard them as one of the more successful areas of our educational planning in the last 20 years we have expanded most of the old engineering colleges because a bigger institution tends to be more economic and efficient and also opened new engineering colleges in the development of higher education the essence of the strategy lies in creating through concentration of human and material resources a few centers of excellence where the highest standards possible are maintained these centers are then utilized for producing high quality teachers textbooks and other materials which in their turn help to extend the excellence generated in these institutions to others and ultimately to raise the standards of the system as a whole the establishment of the indian institute of technology 
is a good illustration of this process of improving standards in higher education it has yielded good results so far and if persisted on proper lines it will eventually crown our efforts with success and help us to raise the standards of the entire system of technical education i wish such programs could be developed in other sectors of higher education as well while i greatly appreciate these attempts at improving quality we have to be on guard against two dangers the first is to ensure that this pursuit of quality does not push up the cost to impossible levels i concede the point that good education cannot be had without a cost and that a nation which desires to have good education should also be prepared to pay for it but research studies have shown that the converse of this statement is not necessarily true very often institutions where the cost per student is high show a poorer level of attainment than some others where the cost per student is much lower it cannot therefore always be argued that an education which cost more is necessarily better what often happens in practice is that cost of education mount up for reasons other than those of qualitative improvement snobbery lack of proper planning or the adoption of absolute technique good scientific research for instance cost more money but larger amounts can also be spent on providing marble floors to laboratories or on the purchase of costly equipment which is only occasionally utilized we have to ensure that such causes of increase in cost are avoided and that cost per student are reduced to the minimum possible consistent with the maintenance of the necessary standards this will be possible through the adoption of modern scientific techniques better planning and greater human effort the institutes should not be satisfied merely by maintaining the highest standards they should also evolve techniques to avoid waste to make the best use of all available facilities and to reduce cost to as low a level as possible this is an important aspect of the problem which i commend for your serious consideration stop